Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Here's something you probably don't know. Dolphins are a type of whale. This is a fact that seems to cause a lot of confusion among people, and you're probably gonna Google it up later, just to be sure we're not making it up. So whales, dolphins, and porpoises are collectively known as marine mammals belonging to the cetacean family. Let's dive deeper into the world of whales and dolphins and learn more about their lives. These are the 10 whales you won't believe exist. Number 10, Psy Whales. The Psy Whale is the third largest whale species after the blue whales and fin whales. However, unlike the latter, very little is known about the Psy Whales. They're often confused with bride's whales at sea, but the two types of baleen whales are actually very distinct from each other. There are two subspecies of Psy Whales recognized, the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere whales. Both are enormous, slow-moving whales and appear in body coloring that ranges from murky blue to steely gray to deep brown. Females are larger than the bulls, growing up to 19.5 meters long. Both sexes have a single ridge running along their heads from the tip of their nose all the way to the blowholes at their back. These whales can also be distinguished from their other closely resembling baleen whales by the sickle-shaped dorsal fin on their backs. Like most baleen whales, Psy whales too are predominantly skim feeders. They swim close to the surface with mouths open and throat pleats extended to skim large quantities of plankton from the water and filter it through their baleen plates. When they're not feeding, Psy whales will likely be playing about in the water. They breach the water surface with their bodies, leaving the water at a low angle and finish with a graceful belly flop. Number 9. Pygmy Sperm Whales There isn't a calamari lover on Earth who could rival a sperm whale's gusto for squid and octopus. These toothed whales are constantly feeding on squid and more squid. But today, we're not talking of the giant toothed whale here. Rather, we're focusing on the smaller relatives, the pygmy sperm whales. These are unique cetaceans belonging to the sperm whale family and, unlike the commonly known, massive 20-meter, 80-ton relatives, the pygmy sperm whale is not much larger than many dolphins. They are intermediate in size between the sperm whale and dolphins, weighing just about 400 kilos, or 880 pounds. Pygmy sperm whales are not often sighted at sea. Most of what is known about them comes from the examination of stranded specimens, and from the observed specimens, we know that these are unique whales among cetaceans in that their blowholes are skewed more to the left side of the head. Also, they exhibit a rather unusual behavior by expelling some dark, reddish-brown fluid when frightened, perhaps to confuse or discourage predators. And did you know that sperm whales take their name from the white, sticky substance they produce from the spermaceti organ on their foreheads? Pygmy sperm whales have the spermaceti organ as well, and nobody quite knows its function, but there are those who suspect that it helps regulate buoyancy, while others think it helps shape long-distance vocalization in the whales. Number 8. Orcas, the wolves of the sea. The largest orca ever recorded was 32 feet long and weighed up to 9,000 kilograms. They also have one of the largest brains of any marine mammal, second to sperm whales. Commonly referred to as killer whales, they are the most ferocious out there. These bad boys will prey on almost any animal they find in the sea, in the air, over the water, or along the coastline. Let's just say that if an orca and a great white shark met, it's the great white shark that would flee and stay missing for a long time. Lucky for these apex predators, nothing hunts them back. Well, us humans are an exception. They're equipped with powerful jaws and up to 52 deadly interlocking teeth, each up to 10 inches long for ripping and tearing prey apart. Orcas are alien to the sense of smell. Their missing olfactory system means that they use their keen hearing to hunt. And hunt they do, with their impressive hunting skills and strategies. Number 7. Beluga Whale the beluga whale is easily recognizable thanks to its stark white color and missing dorsal fins. Don't get it twisted though, belugas are not born white. Calves are born gray or brown and only fade to white as they become sexually active at around five years of age. Interestingly, their bulbous forehead, called a melon, is flexible and capable of changing shape, allowing them to make different facial expressions. Unlike other whales, the beluga whale can turn its neck in all directions and Above all, they can swim backward thanks to their unfused necks. 
Compared to other whales, belugas are smaller in size, but they are extremely sociable as they live, hunt, and migrate together in pods, ranging from a few individuals to hundreds of whales. They employ a diversified language of clicks, chirps, whistles, squeals, and clangs, which give them their other name, the canary of the sea. Number six, Amazon river dolphins. The Amazon river dolphin, also known as the boto, is a true whale weirdo. This dolphin spends half the year swimming through the Amazon rainforest. Their most noticeable strange trait is their pink coloration. Males are a much brighter pink, which supposedly attracts females during mating season. Male river dolphins have also been seen courting females by beating the surface of the water with grasses in their mouths. The boto has an abnormally long rostrum, the pointy part of their face, which it uses in conjunction with echolocation to find prey in the muddy river waters. They have unfused neck vertebra, an adaptation for swimming through tangled branches by bending their body up to a 90 degree angle. This ability is especially important for females who are often found swimming further upriver, likely to avoid the overly excited pink males downstream making strange grass-based moves. Number five, bottlenose dolphins. As their name suggests, these beautiful creatures have a short, thick beak and a curved mouth, giving the appearance that they're always smiling. Usually gray and measuring about two to four meters in length, bottlenose dolphins live in tropical and temperate oceans around the world. They are super swimmers, gliding through the water using their powerful curved dorsal fin on their back, a powerful tail, and pointed flippers reaching speeds of over 30 kilometers an hour and diving as deep as 250 meters below the surface. Our finned friends eat mostly fish, but will also eat crustaceans such as shrimp and also squid. You can be sure to hear whistles and squeaks around them or see them snapping their jaws and even butting their heads as that's how they communicate with each other. They are especially awesome acrobats. They can launch themselves up to five meters out of the water before crashing back down with a splash. Number four, gray whales. Gray whales are, well, gray with whitish blotches and complete with hitchhikers. Adult gray whales can be as long as 50 feet and weigh up to 35 tons. The females, slightly bigger than their male counterparts, give birth to newborns weighing up to 900 kilograms, the size of 10 baby elephants. The females are known to ferociously protect their young ones from danger, so never say you didn't get the memo. Gray whales don't have teeth, but feed by filtering their food through baleen plates that hang down from the roof of their mouth. Talking about feeding, these sea creatures do it uniquely, like giant vacuum cleaners scooping up tiny critters that live on or near the seafloor. And boy oh boy, they are the kings of migration. In winter, they make epic round trip journeys of up to 14,000 miles, one of the longest migrations of any mammal on earth. You can imagine how many miles they cover in their 60 year lifespan. Number three, the loneliest whale in the world. The year is 1989. An array of US hydrophones pick up something strangely different. They were whale songs, except for one big difference. The key notes of the song were at a frequency of 52 hertz, much higher than the vocalizations of most whales marking the beginning of a mystery whale story. For years, researchers have been tracking the migration of the whale, which has a unique sonic signature so unique that it has allegedly never found a mate and it has been consequently described as the world's loneliest whale. Not only does it sing at a much higher frequency, but his calls are also shorter and more frequent than those of other whales. More like he speaks a language of his own, a language of one. Even stranger, this unwitting celebrity loner does not follow the known migration route of any extant baleen whale species. Now it's time for today's best pick. We have this picture sent to us by a subscriber just like you. Remember, if you come across a picture on the internet and want to know more about it, you can always send it to us. Who knows, you may get it featured in the next video. Number two, beached whale? A coastal community near Manila, Philippines woke up to a macabre sight of an almost 50 foot beached whale. To their relief though, it wasn't a real one. It was actually a massive art installation created from oceanic waste. The Philippines is the world's third largest contributor of plastic to oceans, with microplastics causing pollution and increasing numbers of marine species facing endangerment, 
Greenpeace Philippines decided to push and make a bold statement on the issue using the plastic replica of a blue beached whale. The figure's stomach was filled with plastic bags, containers, bottles, and other plastic waste gathered from the ocean. Greenpeace states that though the Philippines has made steps to address plastic pollution through legislation, the reality remains that the country still has a lot to be done. And need I say that if you ever see a real beach whale corpse, consider stepping back. Decaying cadavers have, on numerous occasions, violently erupted as gases released inside the animals' bodies during decomposition build up and rip through the flesh in a powerful burst of malodorous, airborne entrails. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Migaloo, the albino humpback. Migaloo is an incredible whale and the world's first documented all-white humpback whale. Is Migaloo albino? Nobody knows for sure, so he's described as hypopigmented, meaning he has very low pigment, what scientists call leuchistic. Migaloo is estimated to have been 46 feet long, has brown eyes, and his white exterior shows some signs of sun damage. There's more to the story, though. In September 2011, an all-white humpback whale calf with a normally pigmented mother was spotted among Australia's whale population. The little cetacean was allegedly Migaloo's offspring, so it was named MJ, or Migaloo Jr. Other mostly white humpbacks have been sighted in other parts of the world, but both have a few black spots, so Migaloo and MJ are the only albino humpback whales known so far. As exciting as it might feel watching Migaloo, a special Australian whale watching law requires the watercraft to stay at least 1,600 feet away from Migaloo, otherwise a $16,000 fine is imposed. What a way of protecting this gem! You made it to the end of the video, but hey, we'd love to see you again. If you click the subscribe and bell buttons, we'll always notify you when a fantastic video just like this one comes up. We have a lot more that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100!